I don't have a lot of personal things. Like, I just want to come here to win and mm -hmm. just pitch. Yeah. And if AJ wins, AJ wins. But mm -hmm. if AJ wins, Pirates win. Mm -hmm. But the one statistic that I, I, I mean, I'm pretty high up on the list is the strikeouts. And that's, yeah. that means a lot to me because I've been a strikeout pitcher my whole career. But I grew up watching Doc Gooden. Um, had Sports Illustrated articles that he signed for me in New York. And when I met him in New York, we hit it off and he still, He'll send me a text every once in a while, hey, good job, or hey, keep keep going, keep grinding. And all I remember from that is, is I, I passed him, but I believe I went to the city field after that, mm -hmm. shortly after that, and run around the stadium. And you see the picture of Doc, you know, up there, and I'm like, there's no way I just got more tickets. I mean, he did it, he did it in probably eight years less than me, but still, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think if you keep if you have another you know AJ year this year, you'll, you'll be in the top twenty. You know, at the end of the, at the end of the season, it's tough. that's we'll see. you think of all the guys, all the arms that have you know come through this game. It's pretty impressive stuff. I, you know, that's uh, you know that's what I hang my hat on. You know, I'm I'm not satisfied with a lot of things. Uh, I don't know if they still make the the actual physical baseball encyclopedia anymore. It's an actual book. Right? Right. Can you imagine? Can you think of one of your you know one of your one of your boys? I know. 10, 20, 30 Something years like that. Now, and, and seeing your name, his name, there in that book. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll register more. I think when I'm done and out, but um, I definitely take pride in that stat. So, yeah. and hopefully we stay healthy and have AJ here. Jeter got his his tour. What do you want from from the AJ tour? Well, or will it be an AJ tour? Well, first of all, that's Derek Jeter. <laughs> okay, you know I might get a. a a bucket of gum from somebody or, or from Latos, you know, they send me over a bucket of gum from the other side of the field or, but uh, no, I don't want anything. I want to, I want to win as my gift, you know, as my gift. And I, and I mentioned it to, to, to Skip when I got here to Clint and to Neil, you know, I don't, I don't expect it. I don't want it. You know, it's, it's not really a farewell tour. It's just, it's my last season playing ball. You know, I think as a farewell, farewell tour, it's a Cal Ripken, man. It's a Derek Jeter. It's a, it's a A-Rod. It's guys that, you know, that are going to go down to Hall of Famers. That, that's your fair work tools. Mine is just, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm done, man. I enjoyed everything that I've done. and, and But the, I don't need any gifts except to get to October. You know, that's that's my last year. You know, I just, I'm a competitive guy that just wants to win, you know. And I've, you know, I'll say it the best way I can, but I've really fell in love with these guys in this locker room in the city from the get-go. Um, and, uh, you know, me coming over here and, and, and running off nine in a row did help that in 2012. But then again, even the games I didn't win, you know, you give it what you have on the field. You leave your heart and soul on the field. You got guys on the team that do that. And I think that people are okay with the results. Mm -hmm. As long as they understand, look, this dude's got nothing left. It's all out there for eight innings and it, he just missed a spot or two or he did well, but whatever. Mm -hmm. His heart and blood is on the field and that's all I can do. That's all I can give. Neil said when you called him, it was probably one of the strangest contract negotiations. You probably weren't expecting the call. I know that. <laughs> what, what were your emotions when you picked up the phone that day? Did you wonder what's he going to say? Did you think this is going to be easy? Or what? Well, I didn't think it was going to be easy because of the fact that I left, you know, and, um, and it was a mutual kind of, it didn't work out, you know, mutually. So it wasn't like you know, your fault or my fault. It was just one of those, it didn't work, but he still left, you know, and... Yeah. So I'm calling him back, like, man, is, do they want me back or not? You know, I don't, I don't know. But mm -hmm. um, I stayed in touch with a lot of guys, and uh, I was like, you know what, I'll shoot for it. I saw the, the wild card game with my wife, and that's kind of when it, when it really hit me. Yeah. You know, we're laying there, and I just, I remember saying, well, I'm not there. Mm -hmm. You know, I should be in that dugout. And then after that night, I had to wait a certain, what, five days, I think it was, after the series or a week after the World Series, whatever it was, the time frame. Ten days. So it was the next day. You know, I picked yeah. it up and, you know, I texted my agent and said, I'm calling him. I'm not texting him. I don't want you to do it. I said, I'm going to call him and talk to him. And I just, I just want to be very blunt about, uh, it's not about money. It's about me coming back and wearing your uniform if you want me back. But I feel like I've done it right for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as a person, you don't want to, you don't ever look back and wish you could do more or wish, you know, yeah, there's certain things I wish I would have done differently being a young guy. You know, but you learn, like you say, as you get older. But as far as, as doing everything that you can, I mean, as a person, that's, that's how I am with my kids. That's how I am at home with, with my wife, Karen. I mean, I, I try to do the best I can, whether it's helping them with homework or, or trying to cook dinner that I know my wife ain't going to eat, you know. But I, I can look back and say, you know what, I, I paid 16 years and I don't regret a single, a single day.